There's a number of different lubes that you can use. All of them have different purposes, and all of them work in a slightly different way. There's one group of cleaners that's, or one group of lubricants that's referred to as a cleaning lubricant. This is ice wax by Pedro's. There are a number, a number of other ones, white lightning, and a few others that have the same effect. The nice thing about these is the more that you use these on the chain, the cleaner the chain comes because this actually flakes off the dirt when it gets attracted to it. So the more you use this one, the cleaner the chain will be. One of the drawbacks to something like this is that if you ride in real wet conditions, it gets washed off very, very easily. So if you're in dry conditions, maybe some dusty conditions, you might be good for 50 to 200 miles by using this type of lubricant. A second type of lubricant is what's referred to as the dry lubricant. This has very little lubricant in it. Most of it is solvent that's going to evaporate or just wash away. This leaves a very, very thin coating of the lubricant on the chain. This works great for real dry conditions. Dusty conditions, you're not going to do so, so good, but it'll be okay. Wet conditions, this gets washed off very quickly. So depending on the riding, this may be an appropriate lubricant. One of the, the, the final category of chain lubricants would be what's referred to as a wet lubricant. And the reason they call it a wet lubricant is because it's got a lot of oils or other materials that remain on the chain. This is Triflow. It's a Teflon-based lubricant. This is really good for all conditions. You can use it in dry, you can use it in dusty, you can use it in wet conditions, and it's gonna have good adherence to the chain. One of the drawbacks to the wet lubricants is that it tends to attract a little bit more dirt than some of the other ones. But if you don't mind having a chain that you need to clean you know, once a month or something like that, and you ride in all kinds of conditions, especially salty, wet, wintry, or muddy conditions, this is gonna be the best bet for you. So I'm actually gonna use this one today. Quick shake to help mix it up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray this directly onto the chain. I like to do it right at the back where the cassette is, that way any overspray gets directed onto the cogs themselves, which is where lubricant is going to end up as well. So you can pedal forwards or backwards, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna pedal forwards right now. And I'm gonna spray this on. And usually a couple of revolutions of the chain is enough to disperse the lubricant completely onto the chain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to continue to pedal. You can see some of the uh, excess lubricant is actually dripping onto the floor, but we have our little floor mat here or a piece of cardboard to prevent it from going anywhere else. And the next step, we're just gonna shift through all the gears on the bicycle. What this does is it helps distribute the lubricant onto the individual cogs and onto the chain rings in the front. And the action of shifting helps get the lubricant within the links of the chain as well. So we've gone through the gears, we've put the lubricant on, and our final step is gonna to be to wash off or use a rag to remove the excess lubricant. And just like with our cleaning, I'm gonna run the chain through the rag. I'm gonna do that little S bend that we talked about with the rag. I'm also gonna clean the sides of the chain. So now we have a cleaned and lubricated chain and with the lubricant I have on here, I should be good to go for a few hundred miles.